Buying and selling cards are the lifeblood and are one of the most appealing aspects of any physical trading card game. But what would happen if players only had an incredibly limited selection of cards to buy from? In this series, both Ruxin34 and myself will be bidding on sealed product from all throughout Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will have a new selection of product for us to bid on, build decks, and play a best two out of three. However, the kicker is that the items up for grabs will only be revealed to us us one at a time. You've never seen Yu-Gi-Oh! played like this before, because this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. Last week, we ended up bidding on only sets that were booster packs. So this week, we are going to make things a little bit more interesting and do only products that are starter or structure decks. This is one of the things where people were complaining that all oh, these decks seem pretty overpowered in the series. But what if every item in the auction is a starter deck or a structure deck? Ruxin, what do you think? Well, I know that the comments are very angry at me for not bidding on these. <laughs> Now I have to, so it's all good. We're, we're covered. You don't have a choice. This is, this is going to be the least random episode of the auction series. But I think it's fun because although the decks are generally higher power, which ones are going to be higher power? You know what I mean? And we don't know what, like, we don't know what they're going to be. So let's just get started. Item one. I'm excited. Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. Dragons collide. <sighs> There's so many dragon structure decks, too. Uh, I was trying to watch some... Uh, if you look up top 10 structure decks on YouTube, may or may not have done this before this, uh, there's a lot of old <laughs> videos. So that they're all like four years old. So maybe if you, you know, if you want to do a top 10 someone... For future reference, there, there's an opportunity here, but I can't remember if this was a good one or not when I was watching. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it's a deck. It's a structure right? deck so, as well, which is usually better. So it, I was going to say, structure deck typically is better than starter deck uh, historically, but also the starter decks can have some of the broken staples in them. So I, I think depending on like the age of yeah. the deck. Okay, 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 okay. For people who aren't watching, you can see the deck on screen. We cannot. We just go by text, and so it's more fun fun for us that way because it's harder for us to remember what it is uh okay so i i guess i'm gonna just start the bidding let's go with 5k okay we, yeah we got to strange up our strategy a little bit compared to how we normally bid on decks normally we'd be at like 15 20 already but since it's all decks <laughs> you know they're all kind of more even so uh i'll go to eight thousand okay at the end of the day it's still a structure deck. like i don't good. want you to have it for yeah. cheap i'll go for 12. i'll go for 13. how about 14. oh my good we... i we have 10 items okay i go for 15. <laughs> 15 for the dragons collide structure deck you know what buddy i'll let you have it we have a lot of structure decks to go right. through uh i think this one's fine yeah. i i don't remember what's in it honestly i if if it's what i think it is I think there's better ones. I feel like we'll it's decent. I, I can't really remember, but I think it's decent. Well, they're all decent, right? Decent they're all for structure, structure decks. Deck. They can't be yeah, that I bad. Mean, they're all going to be Yeah. Hard. Although, I don't know. That DDD structure deck I had a few episodes <laughs> back. Uh, maybe. Oh, no. There was dad in there. That was still broken. Okay. Item number two. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. 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 You're a big warrior guy, so. I am a big warrior guy, and I also think I recently just played this deck in uh, Sealed Saturday. Oh. So, you know, it. I actually have a bit of reference memory here to remember you what's posted in this, this one. Yet. So unfair, unfair advantage. I'll, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> unfair advantage. I'll go six. Sure. Uh, you're not getting it for six. That's for sure. How about eight? We only have it for that. No, absolutely not. How about 11? Wait, what did I win last time? Dragons? Okay. <laughs> All right, okay, I don't know. If, what did I, I win? I don't know if dragons and warriors really go together. Maybe they do, that I can't think of it. Those are like classic Yu-Gi-Oh! archetypes, they are. though. Warriors yeah. versus dragons. Yeah. Versus, so you're saying you want to keep it, but I'll, I'll take the 12, yeah. I'll go for 13. Uh, all right, you got to at least pay more than I paid for the first one. Okay, fine. Will you let me have it oh, for my, 16, this thing then? must be pretty good. Uh, but it's warriors. Warriors are always pretty good, especially a structure deck, so I feel like this is going to be decent. 
Okay, let's go 18. Oh my god. I want to be down to nothing right <laughs> off the bat. We still have eight more decks to go through, we buddy. Do, we do. <laughs> 20,000 of the finest Kai Bucks oh for the Warrior Strike structure deck. Uh, yeah. Uh, this has to, This is a good one. I have a very, very strong feeling this one's pretty good. 21K. 22K. Oh, my goodness. How much am I willing to spend? This is a lot of money. <laughs> this is yeah, a lot right, of money. Okay. 24. Okay. I'd be down to 60k if you let me have this. Yeah, but do I want to let you have it? <laughs> I don't think you do. <laughs> well, again, it's the, it's the same old problem where we don't know what the other eight decks are going to be. Yeah. I'm going to go to 26. Mm, well, you know what? Buddy, chill. You know what? <laughs> Just let me have it. You want it, but we haven't seen a single starter deck yet, so... We start we hitting those bad starter not. decks. I feel like these are pretty good, or this is a pretty good structure deck to have. If I spend 29, I'm down at 56,000 left. That sounds like a good idea to me. Maybe you should bid on this. All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. You're going to be down to almost half you your cash if I do this. Yeah. Oh, man. How much better are the other decks? There's eight. There's eight decks. more decks. There's got to be something better, right? I mean, maybe. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to do it, but I'm going to let All you All right, it. we'll take it. We'll take it. It's a lot. It's pretty expensive. Yeah, there's there's Exiled Force. You have Rhoda to search Exiled yeah. Force. You have, um, I think, like, Trunade and Heavy Storm might be in yeah. there, too. There's some good stuff in that deck, but the money disparity is, like, I have almost double your money at this point. Yeah, it's, I, I went in a little early, but, you know, we're, we just got to try hey. it. I went in early that one game and uh, like a few matches ago, and you know that seemed to work pretty well for yeah, me. Yeah, it did. But all right, uh, we have eight more to go still, and you only have half your money. Left. <laughs> Item three. Let's see. Ooh, whoa! We get both decks. Huh? Two decks. Hmm. Okay. I'm sure, I feel about. Well, we do get Nimble Mamonga. That's exciting. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> we, we also get super nimble mega hamster while we're at it, uh, which I actually have a newfound respect for after playing with that in history of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. So these are like relatively <sighs> new structure decks as well. And that's one of the things, right? If you're bidding on older structure decks, they have older staples. Yeah. So the newer structure decks aren't likely to have them, but they also could have newer yeah. cards. And, you know, they also may be more likely to have cards that may be considered powerful back in the day in more abundance. Yeah. So you won the last auction, buddy. Where are you starting at? There's, There's two, two decks, decks here, here so too. I'll start with the usual. The usual five? I'll go to oh, six. Come on. You started at five. <laughs> Why would I go any higher? Let's go to 11. Uh, sure. You're not that's getting fine. two decks for 11. Come on. How about for 13? Can I get two decks no, for that? I mean, as much as I want you to have <laughs> two uh, Nibble Mamonga for that much, I, I don't. I would love to have two decks for the price that you paid for, for half. I price think that, that I paid for one. <laughs> half price. Yep. Half price. Oh, <laughs> there's so many more decks. Aren't these? And you're in a weird spot now with the aren't money. These terrible. So. Oh, uh, but there's two of are, them. See here. But this is the dilemma <sighs> of before, right? We thought past structure decks were bad and they ended up being like broken. Okay. You know? So. Okay. But here's the difference. These just came out. You would remember if this was broken or not. The other ones were like 17 years old. Okay. But was it broken in the context of actual yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh? Or is it broken in the context of our Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, That's the difference. for 15,000 just sounds like the worst decision ever, but I have no money. Um, what? You could just keep going. I could, you know what? <laughs> we're going to gamble. I'm going to assume that these aren't that good because I don't have a lot of money to play with. So you can have two decks for the price wow. of half of what I made. I'm okay. just conceding the game right. now. <laughs> conceding the game now. Uh, well, maybe these are still as bad as I said they were in that video, yeah. but I guess we will have I to hope find you're out. Right. Item, you better not be deceiving your I hope I'm. I hope I'm not right. <laughs> Item number four. Ooh. Mechanized Madness. Mm. Oh, which I ooh, remember this. One. Which one is this? Do you? Shit. I remember it. <laughs> the problem. The problem is with the structure decks. They just revamp the old yeah. decks, and they all sound the yep. same. <laughs> oh man, which one is this? The gadget one is the Revolt one. Mechanized Mad. Is that the newest Machina one with Citadel? I know you're not going to tell me, but I'm just starting to think out loud. Uh, okay. Well, I won the last one, so let's just let's just get going. Five k. All right. Go for seven. All right. Let's just uh let's just get get it to. 
five digits here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Five digits is fine. I'll go to 11. Hmm. Ooh. We'll just get it to the usual okay. number. <laughs> I mean, it's going to get there eventually in the interest of time. I guess you're just uh, saving the audience. This is going to be a short problem. episode. Okay, I so mean, with this auction and no, nothing to open? I mean, at this rate, I think so. I'll go crazy. 16. You, you never know. Okay. Uh, man. You just want to go to 20? You know, you've been just going up no, by 5K increments. Like, <laughs> you sure, buddy? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know. Your money's looking a bit uh, light over it there. It is looking a little light. That's for sure. 19,000 that you went to. So that means that you would be down to like 37 if I let you have this. Hmm, that's tempting. If this is the newest m machine deck, Citadel's a house of a card though, if that's what we're doing. I'll go 20. <sighs> this is hard. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna let you have this one just so we're closer here. We're, we're, you're only about 9K okay. up on okay. me. And honestly, uh, you kind of, when you threw all those names, I was like, wait, do I know what this is? And I'm pretty sure you were right about what you said it was, but I, I, I think I like, it is. Maybe I not. think it is. We'll see. Yeah, I believe yeah. that, that you were right uh, about that one. I was going to let you have it for 21 if you went for it. Yeah. So I figure, yeah, okay. 20 is fine. I still have a slight cash advantage here. Oh. Uh, we're, this is the halfway point item five. All right. This is interesting. Okay. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. That's, um, yeah. hmm. That's pretty good. <laughs> Again, which one is it? <laughs> we have multiple of all yeah, of these. Yeah, that's the issue. I think I know which one it is. I think I know which one this is. I believe is. I know, but you know, with the way they keep the names very similar, it's very confusing. Yeah, okay. I mean, they just put like the type and then they put an adjective yeah. Yeah. at the end, basically. <laughs> uh. Uh, so I'll start with 5k. That seems to be the benchmark. You want to go straight to 10 and just skip the, the formalities? Oh, oh, jeez. Let's go okay. to our well, number. 15 old. Okay. Um, hmm. This is definitely an older deck for yeah. sure. This is such a weird, it's going to be so weird trying to mix these decks up. I think that's going to be the yeah. fun part of it because like we're going to be playing like weird hybrid decks. Dragon uh, zombie we just, warrior. I, that sounds like something you'd play on the playground. <laughs> to be fair. And I love it. I love it. This is an older one, which means that there could be good old cards in here. 15. I'll go 16. I feel like we're actually going to run out of money this episode. I think we like, might. The way we've been bidding, like every deck's going for like 15 to 20 K. Yeah. And there's only five more after this. Actually, so yeah, at this rate, we're we going to run out. Run out. Um, I've kind of uh, put myself in old deck. I've only got two old decks. So uh, you just going to keep on that it strategy? It seems like a bad <laughs> idea, but my staples will probably be insane. So maybe it's not. Um, you take the money lead if you let me have this. I do take the money lead. I think this one's pretty good, though. Uh, no, no, you can't have this for 16. I think this one's pretty strong. Hmm. It's hard weighing, like, do I want this versus, like, how much money I want you to lose yep. for it. Oh, 18. You take this. That's a third of your cash. Oh, well, I guess if I take it now, it's almost a third <laughs> yep. of mine. Um, oh, wow. We still this. have five more decks. Five more? We, have we seen a starter deck yet? We haven't. Oh, no. And that's, that's a little scary. The thing is, I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know if it's good yeah. or bad. You know what? I'm going to let you okay. have it. All right, um, old school decks for the I win. Think, Let's go. I think we may get some better stuff later. So it's I'm going to hope space that time we starter do. deck. Let's go. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh you're only at 37k, buddy, but we'll see what happens. Item number 6. Oh god. The Cyber Strike structure deck. <sighs> All right. Uh Okay. <laughs> I, I see we're just getting right uh, to it. Buddy, that's almost half your uh, money. Uh, you better be careful. <laughs> unbelievable. 20,000. That's over half. Okay, so if I let you have this, you go down to 17K, and then I can, like, almost get, like, the last few items here. You really want this, don't you? I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> I don't blame you. Bad. But, like, would I rather have the last few items? What do we kind even of. You got you know what? seven, eight, nine, and 10. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to let you have All it, right. actually. I like the money. Aggressive you can have bidding. It. You can we'll have see it. if it pays off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're at 17000 So if I bid 18000 for the next couple, I get them automatically. So it depends on what it is. Let's see what item number seven is. Oh, Dark World, baby. I'll, I'll just, buddy, I'm not even going to let you bid. I'm just taking it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Dark Worlds. Okay. I'll take that. I think that deck's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah. I think that deck's pretty good. All right. Uh, that was an easy one. Let's go ahead and see item number eight. Oh, two Ooh, decks. Well, buddy, there are your starter decks. There are your starter You're gonna decks. You're going to have so many decks if you win this. You have multiple decks. <sighs> the question, I feel like, oh, man, I feel like these were not good. But again, 
for just getting the staples out yeah. of them, they might be they good. They are coupled into two, so I would assume that means they're not as good. Maybe it's just because they're starter decks, but... I'm going to play a little game here. I'm going to start at 10. All right, wait. We're on number eight. There's two more. If you go 10, you're at... There's you're two at 37. More. You can beat me automatically on the last two if I take this for 11. <laughs> um, let the games well, begin. <laughs> uh, if I let you have this for 10, then you still beat me the last two. So my choice... So the question is, do you want to guarantee yourself on, or not maybe guarantee yourself, but do you want to potentially try to get two decks here? Because there may not be two decks in the last two items. Okay, wait a second. I got to do some maths here. Ah, uh, go ahead. There's so much math and psychology that goes into this oh, series. Man. It's okay, I'm going to do... Oh my gosh. Okay. I think I think my only real option here is to ta just take these for full because... Or you could let me have it for 11. It would... <laughs> the mind game. All right, uh, I'll do 13, I guess. 13. That means you would have one pack of cards remaining. One pack of cards. Mm. I will take my random legendary collection, Joey's World. Well, I'm going to go 14 to get you out of that range mm. if you want them. So now at this point for you, 15K is the same as 17K because you're not getting an extra pack. Oh, you get to bid <laughs> first. So that means you're going to get 17, 17. You just win the next two. That means I would no, win wait, the next you're two. You're down to 33. I would be okay, down to 33. So, so it's not guaranteed. Correct. All right. In that case... All right, we'll go for it. We'll, we'll risk it. You get you get to choose which of the two you want, though. So you're gonna get you're gonna get the better one. I do. But I don't think these are that good. You can have these for 14. You're gonna have 28 decks okay. now. But I'll take one okay. of the last 28 two. 28 decks. <laughs> Hopefully they're both great, so I get one of the two. Okay, item nine. This is gonna be interesting. Let's see. Uh. Mm, was this good? I don't think this was that good. I have no memory of this place. Damn, what was in this deck? Like, I, I know obviously the Sacred Beasts were in it because it's the Sacred Beast structure <laughs> deck, but everything else, I don't know. All right, so I get to bid first, yep. right? Okay, uh, let's go 13,000. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to decide. Uh, it's the same predicament yeah, as before. I have you can to take either this you can one. either you either can take this or you can let me have it and you get I the other. I can go one. to seventeen and then you'll have to decide if you want it. Because Correct. If, That's basically yeah, what we're at. Because if you have twenty left, you just automatically win. So I'll, I'll go to seventeen. You can decide if you want this or not. I don't think you do. I had to try to see if you'd maybe <laughs> let me have it for thirteen. Uh, okay. So all in on this, that means that I would automatically get the last one. I would also get a lot of just packs. In all honesty, so. I kind of like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can have uh, this. That's fine. You get so many packs. That's probably going to be very good. Potentially. I mean, the random packs are very RNG. Yeah. So as long as I get legendary collection, you can still, you know, I'll <laughs> yeah. be fine. All right. I get the last one automatically because uh, you are out of cash, my friends. So please be something good. Please be something good. Uh, I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Is that three decks? <laughs> that's three decks. How many decks do you have? I have a like lot. 10? So much of this being the shortest four. episode. Oh my goodness. <laughs> At least I don't have to recap all of these. <laughs> I was about to say, you might be finished before me no, for once not, in the opening part. Uh, <laughs> all right. And I have some packs to open too. Damn. All right. Uh, cool. Well, buddy, uh, we don't have some packs to crack, but we have some decks to crack. So let's get into all right. it. All right. I think we are severely outnumbered in terms of decks, but I think we got some decent ones. The Dragon's Collide deck is pretty freaking good. We've got the Light Pulsar Dragon, the Dark Fire Dragon, Clips White. We have the Blue Eyes White Dragon. How could we possibly lose? Okay, maybe we. Maybe that doesn't matter. Red Eyes, we got the White Stone, uh, Red Eyes Beat Chick. So we've got a lot of Dragon stuff, you know. All the, we got Dark Arm Dragon. I didn't even know that was in here. That's pretty good. Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, Chaos Sork, Lord of Lord of D. Eh. Mystic Tomato's pretty good. Summoner Monk. We got the Snipe Hunter if we want to start popping stuff. That's not terrible. Jane and Lila are in here. Kaiba Man. Maybe playable. Honestly, we only have one Blue Eyes, so probably a little bit sacky there. A little bit uh, random. Raikou is nice. And then we've got Burst Stream, Inferno. Let's see if there's any like good generic tables. Book of Moon is in here. Reasoning, Card Trader. Okay, those aren't the best ever. Charge of the Light Brigade, I guess, is not terrible. Uh, we've got Dragon's Rebirth, Burst Breath, Call of the Haunted. Okay, pretty good. I think the monsters are, are pretty good. The, the staples aren't that amazing, but then we have also the Warrior Strike Structure deck. This is not what I thought it was. I thought this was the other one. So, yeah, I probably way overspent on this. <laughs> Phoenix Gearfried. We got the uh, Chevalier, the Feather Riser, Gemini Soldier. Oh, my gosh. Freed. Exiled Force is nice. DD Warrior Later is nice. That's good. Gemini Summer is actually a pretty good card because it takes two times to actually destroy it in battle. 
Uh, Blaze Wing, DD Warrior. We've already tried Gemini's once. I really don't want to do that again. <laughs> DD Warrior is pretty good. It's not great, but it's pretty good. Mind Control. Is there any good staples in here? Oh my goodness. MST. That's pretty good. Reinforcement of the Army. We'll definitely play some Warriors with this just because it's pretty decent to have. Uh, double Summon. Probably not happening. Maybe it will. Swing of Memories. Man, uh, Gemini. Ugh, this is so bad. Uh, we've got the Kunai with Chain. Oh, Sakuretsu Armor. That's good. Soul Resurrection is not the worst thing ever. Birthright. Okay. All right. So there's normal monsters. Not the worst. All right, you guys. So looking at all of the decks that we actually won from this auction, we have, I think, nine different decks to go through. So we have a lot. And it's going to be a weird episode because I don't know if we're going to go down a specific archetype. I don't know if we're just going to play all the best staples. There's a lot of different things we can do. So let's take a look and see what we got. So first up were the Slifer and Obelisk Structure decks here. I did an entire video saying how terrible these are, but for the purposes of a series like this, I actually think this might be okay, because look, right off the bat, Breaker's in here, Barbaros is in here, which is just a 1900 normal summon, Phantom Sky Blaster's not terrible if we have something to do with it, Electromagnetic Turtle can like soak a battle phase, so that's pretty cool. There's some stuff here... There's Harpy's Feather Duster in here. I actually completely forgot about that. That's actually nuts. Swords Revealing, Monster Reborn, Book of Moon, Econ, Pot of Avarice. This was already worth getting in and of itself. Supply Squad is also kind of broken in a format like this. So I think we'll play that. Mirror Force is in here as well. Happy to see it. Back to the front's like Monster Revival too. So that's pretty good. Next up is Obelisk. Uh, these should be somewhat identical, but there's Bazoo the Soul Eater, Cyber Dragon, Super Nimble, Mega Hamster. I'm actually happy to see that card. We have some other stuff that can like special summon itself to the field. We also have cards down here like some of the gizmex i'm not sure if these are that good another feather duster though is pretty crazy brain control reborn different dimension capsules pretty good in our format too all the forbidden cards like chalice and lance will probably get played as well call the haunted and drowning mirror force as well wow these decks actually are going to be crazy next up is structure deck mechanized madness and this one is actually pretty good i was correct that it is the machina citadel one citadel is a house of a card so we may try to build around this because this is just annoying in a format like this to deal with so we'll see we have some traditional Machina stuff, both old and new in this deck, of course, because we want to play as many things as possible. Jizukudu might make its way into the side deck, depending on like what Ruxin is on. We'll have to see. Other than that, though, I don't know if there's really too much that's great in here. We do have some consistency cards, of course. A lot of it does centralize around machines, though. Avarices, I mean, we have like a million Avarices at this point. Cosmic Cyclone will probably go in. That's a pretty good one. I think Supply Squad has been in every deck so far. Another back to the front, though. That's pretty cool. Solemn Strike's a big pickup. That's one of the reasons I wanted to get this and so overall not too bad then next up is gates of the underworld speaking of cards that are annoying to deal with grapha is in this deck and so if there's another boss monster to build around that would definitely be it there are some cool things we can do with this because obviously we can draw a bunch of cards and just discard stuff to be able to force silva and gold to activate so that'd be a lot of fun we have sangan nudoria tragodia in here as well battle fader to blank battle phases we have some eh, not some great cards but allure of darkness and card destruction are technically card draw terraforming if we do any sort of field spell related strategy which this one happens to be a bunch of virus cards mind crushes in here as well transmigration prophecies like kind of dd crow and then dark bribe as well to negate stuff that's okay then we have the zombie structure deck i think a lot of our monster count will be coming from here because there's a lot of decent stuff like there is three pyramid turtle don't worry i will check the wiki to make sure i know how many there are i think there's three i saw that earlier uh it can automatically summon vampire lord from the deck that's pretty good i mean it's just a good card spirit reaper is a good card uh let's see we've just got some other stuff snatch deals in here mystical Space Typhoon, Giant Trune, Nobleman, Pot of Greed. Yeah, this was a really good one. I knew this was a great structure deck, which is why I went into 20, even though I didn't have any money. Uh, made a little mistake of the Warriors, but this like, almost makes up for it. Book of Life, got the Reload, Dust Tornade, Torrench. Wow, those are some good stables. I didn't know it was that good. <laughs> We've got the straight Sacred Beast uh, structure deck, which just came out, and I really don't remember much about it. Okay, the Dark Summoning Beast. All right, we're going to have to check out some of these cards, because honestly, I don't know what a lot of these do, because, you know... I'm a boomer. All right. <laughs> Here we got the radio. Oh, a kaiju. That's actually not bad to have, even if it's just side deck worthy. We got Farfa. You made it on a Seabo's channel. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. Fallen Paradise. Well, terraforming. Very nice. Uh, one for one. The beginning of the end. Pot of Desires. Owner Seal. Uh, MST again. Do we have three of those? All right. That's not bad. Escape from a different dimension. Imperial Custom. Are there anything else? Uh, ooh, this guy. All right. 
Uh, we're, we're not playing the, the Sacred Beast. We're just not. <laughs> All right, so uh, that looks like that's our four decks. So we don't have a lot of options. Maybe I can actually build a half-decent deck because I'm forced to actually use the good cards. We'll see. Then next, we have the starter deck Saber Force and Dark Legion. These are two decks that I don't think are particularly good, but we will have to see. There might be some good staples in here. I stand corrected. Cyber Dragon's in here, so that's pretty good. Blade Knight's okay as well. There's obviously a light focus to this deck. Dark Hole's a board wipe. Happy to see that. Smashing Ground's in here as well. Mystical Space Typhoon, Rush Recklessly are fantastic cards as well. Another Mirror Force. Oh, Jesus. Mirror, um, a Magic Cylinder, excuse me. Trap Hole, Dust Tornado, Call the Haunted, Negate Attack. Not too bad. And then for Dark Legion, this is the Dark Focus deck. Archfiend Soldier's a 1900 beater. That's not too bad. Goblin Elite Attack Force probably isn't good enough for this, but it's an okay beater too. Another Dark Hole, another Smashing, another MST, another Rush Recklessly. I love how all the cards in here are almost identical, but holy shit, this is actually crazy. We get multiples of all of these. We'll take it. Then finally for the decks, before we get into the random packs, we have the Legendary Dragon decks. Now, if you don't know what this product is, there are three decks in here, so that's actually kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything in here, because there is a lot. Skill Dark Magician's a 1900 beater. Breaker's in here, so that means we have two Breakers. That's kind of crazy. Remember, we're not playing with any sort of ban list or anything like that, so anything goes. Uh, we have a Swords, a Duality, a Rhoda in here as well. I think we have three Mirror Forces in total now, so that's kind of crazy, actually. That does it for the first deck, though. Just a bunch of Fusions in here. There's a Cyber Dragon. I think we actually have three Cyber Dragon as well, which is kind of crazy. A bunch of Cyber related stuff, which is not bad because these are all machines. So these could potentially synergize with like the Machina stuff. I will have to keep that in mind, actually. Cyber Phoenix is good for just card draw. We may play it just for that alone. Then we have stuff like Future Fusion, Overload Fusion. Kind of crazy, actually. We have all the Mirror Forces here as well. And we get the respective fusions. We have three Cyber Dragons, so we could maybe just play this just for fun. And honestly, I think we will. We even have stuff like Nova Infinity too, so that's kind of crazy. And then we have an Odd Eye Structure deck in here as well. I don't know if there's going to be too much in here that's too synergistic with the rest of our deck. Another Terraforming is pretty cool though. Uh, looking at the rest of this, I think the last pack is a bit of a dud. Maybe some of these rank fours like Dark Rebellion Exceeds or Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion will come up. That actually looks pretty good, and I'm happy that we ended up getting this because I think there's a lot of cards that I'm happy we got that I'm glad that Ruxin doesn't have access to. I almost forgot one of our five decks somehow. We have the Cyber Strike Structure deck. So we got the Cyber Dragons in here, which is going to be pretty nice. I was kind of freaking out. I was like, did I really only win four decks? And then I realized, no, I actually won another one. So we've got Cyber Darks as well. And I don't know how I feel about those. Okay. The Ling Ling. We've got another ki another Kaiju. That's not terrible. Uh, Gale Dogra. All right. <laughs> we got Cyber Emergency. That's pretty good. Cyber Load Fusion. Cyber Dark Impact. Yeah. Okay. This is all right. Machine Dupe. That's pretty good. I don't. We're not going to have multiples of any of these, I don't think. So that's not... Imperm. Forgot about that. Imperm. That's a pretty good one. Imperm. Yeah, we'll take that. We've got Call of the Haunted. That's another copy of Call of the Haunted. Palozoic Canadia. That's pretty good. It's a nice dual link card. we got the Cybernetic Overflow. And then we've got some extra deck monsters. That'll be fun to play with. And then the Power Bond. That, that could be epic to pull off. And then last but not least, because we had $33,000 remaining, we can convert $4,000 into one random pack. So that means we're going to be opening eight random packs. Let's go ahead and see what we got. First pack, nothing too great. Magical Hats is fun, but I don't think we're going to be doing anything with it. Let's flip up our OCG Cosmo Blazer pack. Breakthrough skill is actually pretty sick. We could maybe play that, so glad to see that. Next up is a Dark Revelation 1 pack. There's a lot of good stuff in this set. Let's see if we get any of it. Uh, Luster Dragon's actually pretty good. That's a 1900 beater. The rest of this, I don't think is too spectacular. Roulette Barrel's like a 2k defender, if anything, but I think our pool is probably too good to play this. Gladiator's Assault in the OCG. Anything good here? Chaos Neos would have been sick if we actually pulled it in real life, but unfortunately, the rest of this is kind of a dud. Next up is Gold Series Haunted Mine. Oh, this is going to be a big one. There's a lot of good reprints in here. Let's flip it up and see. Ooh, that's a lot of good stuff. So we have a Starlight Road, but I don't think we have a Stardust Dragon. Uh, Embodiment of a Popus is nice. Pyramid Turtle's cool if we got the zombie deck, uh, but we do have a Ryu Koki, so there is some synergy here. We got a Ghost Rare Blue Eyes, so that's kind of nice. Um, everything else... Mm, not looking too great. Dawn's Alug is nice, but I don't know if it's really good enough in this format. Uh, pretty okay, actually. Like, this stuff's, like, fine. It's nothing, like, fantastic. No, like, crazy broken staples or anything. Let's go into Light of Destruction. This set has done us well in the past before. Anything for this time? Eh, we got some Lightsworn stuff. Uh, everything else in here, not really too great. Order of Chaos, though, and the OCG is coming up next. Nothing too great. Uh, I th it's all in Zector stuff. We can't really do anything with that. Then we have an OTS Tournament Pack 4. 
anything there. And that is our last one. And it didn't look like we got anything too useful. Swirl Slime would have been great for the DDD deck episode, but unfortunately we didn't get it. Horn of the Phantom Beast would be nice, but I don't think we have enough beasts or beast warriors to play that. Overall, our extra packs aside from breakthrough skill weren't too great, but we may play a couple cards in here. We have a lot of building to do. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here's what we put together. It's kind of just some random stuff from our structure deck. So we have Dark Arm Dragon. We had to play it. I mean, it's one of our best cards that we got. Chaos Sorcerer, because we have some light and dark stuff. We got a Cyber Dragon from the Cyber Dark, or the Cyber Dragon and Cyber Dark structure deck. Vampire Lord, we're pairing this with our Pyramid Turtles because it can special summon this guy straight from the deck, which is pretty good. Then we have the Axe Dragon, 2k attack. He does change the defense. He's also a dark for all of our light and dark stuff we need. Uh, the, we have a bunch of Cyber Dragons in here. I don't know how I feel about these. Uh, DD Warrior Lady, uh, Marauding Captain, Exiled Forest. We can get all these with Rota, which is pretty good. Then we have Mystic Tomato, can special summon a lot of our dark monsters. Then we've got our Pyramid Turtles, uh, Cyber Dragon Core to search our... We've got Overflow, we've got Cyber Emergency, we've got all kinds of stuff. We've got Spirit Reaper, which can be special summon off Pyramid Turtle as well. Then we've got a Nasture uh, and a Hertz Valley and a Grave Scormer just for another dark. He's kind of a man-eater bug. Uh, we have all these Cyber Dragons because we do have Cyber Load Fusion. We could go into Chimera Tech or Cyber End Dragon, but it's unlikely that we actually get into any of those. And even if we, these four are just bluffs. Then we have some really good spells and traps. That's kind of like what might win us the game. We have Heavy Storm, MSTs, we have Book of Moon, Statch Steel, Cyber Repair Plant, Cyber Emergency, Fusion Deployment. This only works with Cyber Dragon, unfortunately. So if we draw Cyber Dragon, it's kind of a dead card. Cyber Blood Fusion just to get in those two big fusions. And then our traps are very good. And then our side deck, we have two Kaijus, which may come up. Despair from the Dark, I'm not sure if this works with Dark Worlds, but if he discards this... I don't know if that would work if we get to special summon. I think we might get to Chaos Hunter. It could be good if he's special summoning a lot, which he probably is with all of his decks. Then we have the Gizback. This guy's easily special summoned, but at a high cost. Card Trooper is just a decent card. We got Pot of Desires. Creature Swap's decent. Giant True Nade. Limit Removal is crazy if he actually get it off. Nobleman, I doubt we actually need this, but just in case we have in the side. Reckless Greed, Dust Tornado, we already have enough spell and trap removal, and then we have two Compulse. Let's see what we can do with this. I'm not feeling too good, to be honest. I gotta be honest, this has to probably be one of the highest power level episodes we have had in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction series. I mean, look at this deck! This looks like it's borderline constructed playable. This is nuts. This is ridiculous. This is gonna be a bloodbath of an episode. Can't wait to see what Ruxin brought, but this is the deck we're bringing. Let's go ahead and do the card by card. So I decided I decided to go for a machine theme because I figure being able to take advantage of Cyber Dragon since we have three of them across all the different products that we opened and the fact we have stuff like Overload Fusion and Future Fusion means that we're able to actually just go with the machine motif but also because we have Citadel and this is kind of like one of our other win conditions and two uh, Fortress as well we got one of these in the structure deck and then we got another one in a separate product as well it might have actually been in the Legendary Dragon deck so I figure if we sort of combine these together we actually get a bit of a more thematic deck instead of just playing every good card we pull but as you can see we're also doing that as well so three side draw of course a cyber dragon dry because this will actually allow us to get into our infinity and nova a lot more easily two cyber phoenix because it's a name but also just draws us a card a machina air raider a machina city del and two copies of machina fortress these are the big machinas if you will a lot of them can just special summon themselves to the field and i just want to keep bringing citadel back over and over again because i think he's going to be a pain for Ruxin to deal with. We also have Gear Frame to search most of our other Machina monsters. Irradiator is actually good because it can special summon some back from the graveyard. Megaform is cool because it's also able to do something similar. And then we have some of the lower level Machinas like Sniper, which is just an 1800 beater, and Soldier, which can actually special summon a Machina from our hand if we control no other monsters. I'm also playing Scrap Recycler because I just want to dump the Citadel into the graveyard immediately because that gets it online. We don't have like Foolish Burial or anything, so this is like the next best option. And then for the spells, we have a lot of them. Book of Moon, Brain Control, Double Dark Hole, Enemy Controller, Forbidden Lance, Future Fusion, Double Harpy's Feather Duster. There was one of these in each of the Egyptian God Structure decks, so that's hilarious. Two Limiter Removal. We also have access to two of this, which is crazy as well. A Machina Redeployment for Consistency. Double Monster Reborn, just to continuously revive our big threats. Double MST for even more spell and trap removal if we need it. Double Overload Fusion to be able to go into stuff like Chimera Tech Overdragon, or even stuff like Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon if we want. Pot of Avarice to shuffle some stuff back if we 
we feel like we need to draw more cards. Double Smashing for removal and Triple Call the Haunted, again, just to keep bringing those big threats back to the board over and over again. I kind of actually want to go second, if I'm being honest, because I don't really need a lot of traps in this deck, and this deck wants to go second anyway because we're playing Cyber Dragon, and like, if we get Cyber Dragon, a way to summon Machina Fortress and like limiter removal, we just win the game immediately, assuming Ruxin just doesn't do much on his first turn. So I think there's actually, you know, maybe the first time in the series that we can play a blind second deck and see how it works. The extra deck, we have Fortress Dragon in case he is playing a machine deck of his own, a Mega Fleet Dragon for getting stuff out of the extra monster zone. So that's kind of fun. An Over Dragon, Double Rampage Dragon, a Cyber End, two Cyber Twin. These probably aren't going to come up as much as the other ones, but I still want to have them in here anyway. I'm also playing the Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing. I don't even think I'm playing a tuner, but I figured maybe it comes up. I am playing Brain Control after all. And then some Xyz, Cyber Dragon Infinity paired with the Nova, a Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. I have a few level fours in here, so we could make this. And a Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion for similar purposes. Then the side Double Breaker for even more spell and trap removal, Cosmic Cyclone for the same purpose. Chalice and Breakthrough Skill are for effect negation in case Ruxin's monsters are a little bit annoying. Double Dust Tornado for even more removal. A Machina Overdrive, which is just a pretty good card all around. Double Magic Cylinder, Triple Mirror Force. I can't believe we have this across all of our decks. Solemn Strike and a Transmigration Prophecy. The theory is if we know we're going to be going first or have the option to pick first, I'm actually going to side into all the traps and play more of a control Cyber Dragon oriented deck because I think the traps are still good in a sealed environment like this, but he may have access to a lot of spell and trap removal, so I am a bit concerned about that. But guys, I can't wait to see how this is going to play out. This is going to be a ton of fun, but let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Buddy, this may be one of the highest power level episodes I think we've had. And that's not really a surprise, right? I mean, the structure and starter decks kind of lend themselves to just being higher power because it's not as random, but this might be a bit nuts. How are you feeling? <laughs> I looked at a few of your decks. I don't feel good. <laughs> I don't feel good. <laughs> I gave you those two well, decks that both have them, Harpies to be fair. Feather Duster in them. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh no, this is so bad. I was like, I think there's like something that's good in these Egyptian god uh, decks and when i saw that i actually just like <gasps> and i was so excited that it was there but yeah uh those decks ended up being okay i the thing is there's so many different ways i feel like i could have gone i feel like there's a lot of ways you could have gone as well that i'm curious to see what you ended up with are you feeling are you feeling confident what do you think no i'm not i'm not feeling confident Perfect. all right well on that note let's go ahead and get to the game then shout out the patron it is chase Cawthon. thank you so much for the support and let's see how quickly we're gonna win this one. Oh, okay maybe it's pretty quick all right <laughs> Buddy, I'm going to let you go first. Oh, gosh. You playing like... <laughs> wait, are you playing Dark World? No, wait. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It could be I'm anything. I'm so scared right it now. It could be anything. Go ahead. Make sure you draw your card. We are uh, playing by drawing cards. This, is, this so. might be the fastest episode of all time. All right. Could be. Could be. Could be. Um. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm going to start off by activating Cyber Emergency. You're on it. Okay. Sure. All right. So one Light Machine Monster or a Cyber Dragon Monster from deck to hand. All right. Got some, you got some options in there. You got I some do. options. Um, what do we want to go for here is the question. I think that I want to go for the... I think I want to go for the core. So I'm going to add the Cyber Dragon core. Seems like a pretty good one. Oh, uh, not to clear, to grave. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna just gonna we're gonna go well off with this thing. We're gonna summon it. I get okay. to add a spell or trap from deck to hand. So you do. What are you gonna go for? Uh, I'm gonna go for the overflow. Okay. All right. Now what do I want to do? You have two harpies, feather duster. So uh, setting is a little <laughs> bit a uh, little bit suspicious in this one. I don't really feel too good about this. I'm gonna set one and. Is that all I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna pass, I think. I was gonna say, how confident are you <laughs> feeling, buddy? <laughs> not good at all. Not feeling good at all. All right, we'll draw. Okay. Anything in standby? Um, no. Okay. Didn't think so. I'll go into main one then. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run out Machina Gear Frame. Yeah, the Machina deck. All right. Uh, and you get to and add. I will use the effect to add a Machina from deck to hand. Yeah, Is that fine? that's fine, I guess. With the gear frame, I'm going to add Citadel to my hand. Uh, all right. Then, I guess we just keep the festivities going here. Uh, I'm going to... Hmm, actually, you have... 
overflow. Yeah, I probably do this now. Uh, I'm going to summon Fortress by discarding the Citadel. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's go to battle. What does this Fortress do? You just, it's just easy to summon. Target one card before resolving. <laughs> Ugh. I remember this guy from the, uh, whatever that guy's name in GX Duel Links deck. All right. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. I will hit with gear frame. Oh my gosh. All right. That's going to be 14. Yeah. You know what? That is, I guess. Okay. It's going to go to grave. <clears throat> Damage step. What do you have? I will activate limiter okay. removal. Yeah. I figured you had this, but. So you will take another 1800, sir. Oh gosh. I was, I was doing the math and I was like, am I going to die here? And the answer is yes, I am going to die. Here. I will hit for 5,000 unless you set uh, that overflow. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess I have to do it. <laughs> Dad sure. it. All right. We'll banish that, which stinks. Cause now I can't get his effect. Um, I guess I have to hit this guy, which means I have, you get to discard a card from my hand. So the fortress goes away. Uh, uh, now it doesn't target, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So right, it just destroys. Right. So I don't get to rip anything out of Yay, your hand. Yeah, I only had to. However, I do get to trigger the effect of the Citadel since a face-up Earth machine, except uh. Citadel, is destroyed by card effect. So I will bring the Citadel back. Okay. And you're not dead here because unfortunately, limiter removal doesn't act on things that just got summoned. But, uh, you know, 3K <sighs> to the dome seems pretty good to yeah, me, right? it does seem pretty good. <laughs> and uh, second main, I'll just set a card. Go ahead. The dream of killing you in one turn did not come to fruition, but we were very Thank close. Goodness. We were very close. Okay, I got to read this Citadel real quick. Uh, he's a pain in the ass. <laughs> he just keeps coming back. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my God. He's basically right deck. He's a quick yeah. effect. That's insane. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's a real issue. Okay, now we got to really think about this thing. Oh my gosh, this is bad. This is not good. This is really not good at all. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't envy your position, buddy. <laughs> yeah. All monsters. Uh, does it have to be face up for this Raigeki effect or not? Does this... Uh, which does the Citadel have yeah. to be face up? No, or does your my monster have to be face up? up? It does, just says all yeah, monsters, Yeah, yours have to be... Though. But, Yours have to be face okay. up, yeah, because it, it, it wouldn't have a stat. Yeah, that's what I figured. Up. Okay. In that case, I'm going to set one. <laughs> I'm going to set two, and I'm going to set three. All right. I will pass. And this is where I feather duster you now. Okay. I, I will draw. Not. Please don't. <laughs> Let's go to main phase one. I don't have to commit anything else if I want to win the you game. Don't. That's so true. I don't think I'm going to. Let's go to battle. Okay. Citadel over the set. All right. We're going to tomato. Oh, dark. tomato. Yeah, okay. So this will save you. Yeah. Uh, okay, I've got, I've got a couple options here. Off <laughs> the tomato, ahead. I am going to summon my Grave Squirmer in attack mode. Zero attack, by the way. Yeah, zero attack. Buddy, this will kill you if this connects. It will, yeah. So, sure? Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. Okay, uh, then I will attack with gear frame. All right, I will book that. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I had to force out something. That is fine. Uh, still in battle, I'm going to activate Call of the Haunted, targeting Fortress. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Try to hit. Uh, yep. Got another book? Mm, nope. I don't. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Quick game one. Oh! All right. You ready for game one? Let's do this. Game one. <laughs> let's play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. You just want to like reset? Is that how you're feeling after that? <laughs> reset what? What are you talking about? This is game two, buddy, not game one. I went so fast, I already forgot. So uh, <laughs> I, I guess uh, I guess I'm up uh, again, going first. Let's see. You are. I'm shocked you let me go second again after the way that first game went. Well, I don't know if it mattered if I went first or second there. <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. Okay, we've got an interesting little. Uh, yeah, this is a weird hand. This is really weird. I'm gonna pass. Buddy? You feeling okay over there? I just feel like the viewers need a nice short episode today. Uh, Evidently. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll be able to give it to them. I'm gonna normal summon Machina Soldier. Okay. And when I normal summon it while I control no other monsters, I can special summon a Machina monster from my hand. And he's back. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And right. he can be summoned because he has to be summoned by a quick, or excuse me, by a uh, card uh, effect. All if right, you well, since you him. have him and you are special summoning, I'm going to discard this card to my graveyard and special summon in defense mode. 
my chaos hunter. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this does wall up technically. Yeah, uh, so that's not, not going to do me much, but it's something, I guess. It, it's something. It's something. Uh, am I able to do anything about that? Actually, I don't know. Viewing extra deck. Always love to see it. Yeah, we're uh, we're considering our options here. Considering our options. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm just going to go to battle. All right. We'll attack with the Citadel, kill the Chaos Hunter. Okay. And we'll hit for 16. All right. And second main, I've got a couple back row to throw at you, so go ahead. That's not bad. All right. That's not too bad either. That is not too bad either. Um, there we go. All right. I'm going to start off with... Actually, do I want to start... Actually, you know what? Just... In an abundance of caution, I'm going to Heavy Storm. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty good. You got my Mirror Force and my Call of the Haunted. Yeah, that, that'll do. Now I can activate my Pot of Greed just in case you had Imperial Sh Order. Shit, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think that's fair. I think yeah, that's fair. Uh, we're going we're gonna to draw two. Oh. <laughs> yes! Okay, all right. Okay, wait a second. Let me read this Machina again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, this thing can tri it can tribute your soldier and Raigeki my field, right? That's its effect. Yes, in theory. In theory. Okay. Well, I'll start off with a snatch steal. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Fine. Uh, he's yours. Yeah, he's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna follow that up by banishing a light in the dark. You are not gonna BLS me, buddy. If I was, then that would be great, but I'll just take the Chaos Sork for now. Oh, it, okay. All it'll right. Work. Oh, uh, I was about to say, I think I'd die if it's BLS. That would have know, been, what, 14, 3, yeah. 4? I, I'd be almost dead. Yeah, I'd be very, very close, close. To dying. Uh, I like I like the idea of you having nothing in Graveyard. I'm just going to go ahead and declare to banish that. Sure. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go to battle, attack you for 3K. I'll take it. Uh, main 2, I'm going to... You have, you have Heavy Storm, which is horrify i mean what harpy's feather duster that just like wins you the game um gotta draw it buddy you gotta draw it so you know what i lose either way let's set both i'm gonna end my <laughs> turn <laughs> i lose either way yeah. i'm going all in yep. anything in standby no please do not have harpy's feather duster just don't do it to me okay uh i'm gonna start by special summoning a cyber dragon yeah, that's a good card yeah i am going to contact fuse the machina citadel and my cyber dragon for a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. <laughs> okay, what the heck just happened? All right, what does this guy do? It's so 2K I'm now? To, I'm able to, yes, it's 2,000 for each of the oh! materials used, but it uses monsters from either field. Uh, did you gain your 1K, cool by the way? Uh, I will gain my 1K for Snatch Shield. Okay. I was about to get to that. So Thank this you. guy goes to the graveyard. Oh, come Correct. on. Correct, and Snatch Shield's gone. Uh, gets better, buddy. I will activate Monster Reborn targeting Machina Citadel. <laughs> Why do you, what is wrong with you? Why, why would you do this to me? I'm having a blast. I'm buddy. sure. I'm sure. Yeah, go for it. Is that That's fine? fine. That's fine. I get. It's not fine, but I it's guess not heavy storm. It. You were worried about heavy storm. I was it's not heavy about storm. feather duster, but this it's is not heavy as storm. Bad, yeah. Don't worry. Oh yeah, from the person who had heavy storm pot of greed snatch deal. Whatever. Okay, hit with the citadel. And I'm still gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's gonna go to graveyard. Awesome. And then two K to the face from the Chimera Tech. All right. Uh, second main, I'm just chilling, buddy. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, this is the worst. Okay, I need to read this uh, this fortress. What does it do? It doesn't do anything. Nothing, it's just it's 2,000 just... attack. Yeah. Okay, it's just anything. a target for that. Okay. And it's not like the time I said it doesn't do anything and it actually did something. This time, yeah, it actually when it was like the best anything. card in your deck. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and this can target one tribute, destroy that all with attack less than. Okay, in that case, Correct. I'm going to activate my Call of the Haunted. Chaos Orcs back. Sure. I'm going to banish that guy. Uh, thinking. What? What do you have? I'm going to activate in response the effect of Citadel. Okay. And I'm going to destroy itself. All right. Uh, I'm going to target itself, actually. So okay. do you have a response to that? There uh, is a... Uh... That is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to blow itself up, and it's going to kill your Chaos Sork in the process. But okay. he doesn't come back because it has to be if a face-up Earth Machine except Citadel is destroyed by Battle or Card Effect. Yeah. So Okay. That card's in Got one. to work around the Chaos Sork. Yeah, yeah, you did. All right. I'm going to pass. All right. And we will draw. Let's go ahead and do this again. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> Target out, of, out of spite, I'm going to MST that monster <laughs> boar. <laughs> sure. All right, go for it. All right. Battle hit. <laughs> I will activate my card that is not activatable. My cybernetic overload. Oh my god, you had no more cyber. If you actually still had Zvi in the graveyard, you could have used it, but you banished it for the uh, Sork. <laughs> I drew Heavy Storm, Pot of Greed, Snatch Steel, Call on an MST. Not good enough. It's not good enough. Not good enough. The Citadel is too strong. Buddy, do you want to, how about we do a game three? Maybe maybe you have a chance to redeem yourself. These were quick. I think the audience wants to see a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's let's do another one for me to make it, it just worse, but let's do it. <laughs> Buddy, I because I'm feeling so generous. What what are you gonna pick for rock, paper, scissors? I'll let you go first. <laughs> uh, do, do I wanna go first? I, that's true. Maybe you don't want to go. Maybe you want me to go first. That's fair. That's fair. You know what? Just just pick it. Just pick something. I'm gonna win okay. this rock paper I'll scissors battle. That's all that I have left. Never mind. Okay. okay. Right. No. I'm that's not happening. Swept. So, so do you want to go first or second? Uh, I I gotta switch it up. I gotta go second here. And just you're gonna go yeah. second. Okay. So I'm gonna go first. Then <laughs> gotta try case. something. All right. I think this is going to work a little bit better for you pre sideboard because you don't know like what I'm fully up to over here. So I will draw for turn. Uh, maybe not. Maybe you're still dead anyway. Uh, okay. I'm going to normal <laughs> summon gear frame and activate the effect to add a Machina to hand. Um, that fine? Uh, no, it's not fine. I'm going to. How do I do this? Can I? How do I even do this on my turn? Uh, is it imperm? Yes. Is there there's no, act, there's no right. activate Im button. Yeah, no, you just, you just discard it. That's fine. Okay, negate the effect. I guess that makes my decision making a lot easier. Uh, I will set a card and pass the turn. All right, that's nice to see. You know what? I don't like your back rows. They've been pretty annoying. Uh, let's get rid of that. It was that. an overload fusion. Get baited. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I got a pot of greed again. That, it didn't do me any good last time, but let's see what we can do. We'll see. All right. This guy's kind of like just big in general, and he gets to search. All right. Yeah, 1800, not bad, right? It's not bad. I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set. I don't fear Feather Duster. This game doesn't even matter. <laughs> Feather Duster doesn't exist. Does not exist. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, main one, I guess, oh, this is actually a bit of a weird hand. I'll go to battle, I'm gonna hit. All right, I will get my Pyramid Turtle. Ooh, okay. It's all right, I'm gonna special summon my Zombie or vampire. Oh Lord. shit, <laughs> that thing's actually a problem. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, he's pretty good, actually. I will pass. Okay, all right, we're gonna pass. So let's see, what do I want to do here? I'm gonna normal summon. Do I want to do that? I don't know if I do. I think I'm just gonna go to battle, actually. Okay. I'm going to attack you for 200. And I'll take it. Gear frame down. All right. Now I get to do this. Declare one type. I don't want to declare monster because I don't want you sending that thing to the graveyard. So uh, let's... Your spells have been getting on my nerves. Your monster reborn. Let's go spell. Send a spell to the graveyard. You're going to force me to send a spell to the graveyard. Yeah, I hope you don't have anything uh, that is in the graveyard. <laughs> fine. I'll get rid of this Book of Moon. Yeah, that's a pretty good card. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to main two. I'm going to set another one. I'm going to get feather dusted. All right, go ahead. I wish. Uh, main one. Let's bring out everyone's favorite cyber Yeah, dragon. he's pretty good. He can hit over vampire That's lords. Annoying. That's all I care about. Uh, I will go to battle and try to do so. I will activate your favorite card, Compulse. Ooh, okay. Going back to hand. All right. It's fine. Uh, second main, I can bring him back. <laughs> you can bring him back, that's true. <laughs> and honestly, I think I'm okay. I think I'm just going to pass. All right. I'm going to normal summon my exiled force. Ooh, okay. I'm going to declare. Sure. You gonna fire that? Get that guy. All right. Battle. Attack for 2K. At 30 grand you paid for that warrior deck. <laughs> yeah. Sure. You really take the pay 2K. it off. All right. You know, can we send another spell? Yeah, spell. We'll go with spell again. Okay. Uh, this time I will send Feather a mystical space typhoon. Yeah, that's that's all right, I think. Okay. Main two, I'm going to 
past. Buddy, you're just thinning the deck so I can get the Feather Duster. That's true. I'm kind of <laughs> kind of hurting myself here. Uh, okay, so we'll go main one. I'm going to normal summon Machina Soldier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen this And I will use the before. effect since I control no other monsters to special summon. Is that okay? Yeah, I guess. You got a leather limiter We're gonna bring removal out here. Machina Megaform. No Citadel this time. What the heck time. is this? So this thing, I contribute it and special summon a Machina from my hand or deck, oh. except another Megaform. <laughs> no! Uh, so he's got some cool stuff he can do. All right. And then... Uh, he has another effect, too, where I'm able to uh, basically get him back to the field, essentially. Uh, I don't know exactly if I want to do that. I guess it allows me to just get Citadel rotation. So that seems pretty good. So I will tribute it off, actually. Okay. All right. That's fine. All right. Let's go ahead and get big old boy the Citadel. Yeah, that's yeah, just a decent play. Get this massive 3K. He's, a, he's fine. Yeah. Right. He's okay. Yeah. Uh, and then, actually, while I'm still in main one, do I want to do anything else? Uh, then I think we're just going to battle phase. Uh, Citadel hit in. All right, I'll take a thousand. And then we'll hit for 16 with the soldier. Okay. And second main, I think I'm going to pass the turn. All right, let's see. Main one, I'm going to activate reinforcement of the army. There it is, sure. Okay. What do I want to add is the question. Uh, mythical second exiled force would be yeah, nice. Yeah, that would be good if it uh, existed. All right. Um, <laughs> let's grab DD Warrior Lady. Oh, that's pretty good, too. That's all right. Um, I'm going to normal summon my DD Warrior Lady. Sure. Battle phase. Okay. I'm going to attack this guy. Going to banish him. Yeah. Uh, I have no response to this. All right. I will banish then. Take 15. And you'll take your 15. Yeah. Um, main two, gonna set a card. Go ahead. It's got the back row. Um, main phase one. Not a ton I can do. I guess I'll go to battle and I'll hit with the soldier. I'm gonna activate Call of the Haunted. Targeting. Vampire Lord. Shocker. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Second main, I'm going to. I think I just pass. I can't do much else. All right. See, this is, this is like what I was expecting this to be like. I wasn't expecting me to just like win immediately, although that was the plan. Limiter removal, monster reborn. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, I think I'm just going to normal summon Cyber Dragon Dre. Okay, sure. Uh, we're going to go to battle. Yep. Attack. So I take two, yeah. and then I'll take 2K from the Vampire yes. Lord. He's getting in. Yeah, and I'm going to declare spell again. This time I will get rid of... Hmm. Feather Duster. You really just want me to get rid of Feather Duster, don't you? I mean, it's pretty good. Lim limiter I'm gonna removal? get rid of. I take that too. Kind of thinking limiter removal. If I'm being honest, I'm gonna get rid of the Smashing Ground. Actually. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, not too good against Vampire. Not when you have a Vampire yeah, not Lord. Too good it's that, not good. But, uh, I will end. Go ahead. Don't draw the Harpy. Pretty good. Uh, main one. All right. Uh, everyone's favorite dragon is back. Yeah, he's pretty good. Not bad. I'm going to contact fuse away your yeah. dry and my Sidra for a fortress dragon. Yeah. And then I'm going to overload fusion. Yeah. So we're going to banish both Sidras for a Chimera Tech Rampage dragon. In response to the summon, I will activate Torrential Tribute. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so everything dies. Your vampire lord will come back. No, it's a okay. it's opponent's card effect. Oh, well, that's unfortunately. Sucks then. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. So then my rampage dragon also had the ability that when it was summoned, I would be able to pop spells and traps. So I guess I'll pop your remaining one then. MST. Be worthless okay. so far. Yeah, it's it hasn't been doing much for you. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of fun. Okay, I'm in a pot of avarice. Yeah, I saw you got at least two of these. Just a few. The question is, how many am I playing? That's the question. This is where I draw the, the Feather Duster that I've been waiting dusters. for the whole time. Not good enough, it seems. Okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna Monster Reborn your Vampire Lord. Yeah, it's pretty good. And uh, we'll hit for 2K. All right, Monster Reborn's pretty good. And I'm passing the turn. I was really hoping to get another monster plus that. Well, but I do really enjoy my there. Vampire Lord, so I will take it back. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's fine. All right, I'm going to go to battle. Hit for 2K. All right, uh, it's been getting in work. Am I sending another spell? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, uh, this time I will send... What do I really not want to see? <laughs> a lot of... Th I'll get rid of a, another mystical space typhoon. Yep, all right. Uh, I will go to main two. I'm going to set a card. I'm going to pass. We'll draw. Uh, that's, I think, what I need. I will dark hole. <laughs> Come on! What was the set? It was the Grave Squirmer. Okay. You gained a thousand, uh, And this should... Way. Wrap Even up the game. Over, uh, huh? You got a thousand from Snatch Deal too. Oh yeah, gained my thousand from Snatch Deal. Thank you. I don't think it matters. I think I have the game one here. Yes, I can special summon did. this Fortress, pitching the Irradiator, and then you're oh, a, uh, lethal there. That's so. it. Yeah. Wow. Oh dang it. Jeez. <laughs> I, I closed. <laughs> we it can just go. To, we can just. We can just both side deck. We just hit done, yeah. and we'll just talk okay, about it. Good. This was crazy. So I see you had like a nice little like hybrid of strategies going on there. So what was your thinking? Uh, I couldn't get like one good strategy, so I just threw in a bunch of random stuff. So I don't. The problem is. Like, I picked all these old decks, so I only have... I have a bunch of... I didn't have any side deck. I mean, not side deck. Extra deck stuff. I had two potential mm. fusions from Cyber Dragon. That was it. Literally it. I had Cyber Darks if I wanted to play those. I didn't have any XEs, any Synchros, <laughs> anything like that. So, I, I was like, this is going to get absolutely run over. <laughs> like, if he has anything great. Because I don't have a lot of things to special summon either. Like, oh, I I'm see. playing, like, Parsh. I do have the Dad, which, I mean, might come up. So that's pretty good. And then that's big. Chaos Sorcerer is good. And then other than that, I'm playing a bunch of bad Cyber Dragons just for the two Cyber Dragon fusions. I do have one Cyber Dragon. Um, the spells and traps were incredible. I mean, I got the staples overall, yeah. which were really good. A Pot of Greed, Sock, uh, Snatch Deal, you know, Two Call of the Haunted, Reinforcement of the Army, 3 MST, Heavy Storm, Torrential Tribute. All that stuff. Just everything. Yeah, so all that was really good. I had a mini warrior package for the Rota, like a DD Warrior Lady. I think I had... Which is pretty good. Yeah. They're both removable. It's all pretty so. good, but when you could special summon 3Ks on your first turn, it's just... And, and I can't <laughs> remove him because he's just going to come back. I mean, I can, but he's going to come back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, was, it was an okay deck. I feel like my actual last two weeks are probably actually better somehow because <laughs> like interesting i think because i got those older uh those older decks and i didn't get anything in terms of like it would have been really good in like 2008 probably <laughs> it would have been good if like i didn't also have like structured decks right, to work right, with yeah right like if i was just going solely off of packs i, I could see your deck being pretty decent yeah. mine was a bit ridiculous so i had the machina structure deck obviously but then across all of my decks i had three cyber dragons in wow. total wow so I figured that I can actually go with the machine motif here because I can just play off the fact that a lot of the Machina cards actually synergize with machines, yeah. not Machina cards specifically. So like here, Fortress, I can pitch yeah. other machines to summon him. So the fact that I had that, I also had access to stuff like Infinity and like uh, all the Chimera Tech stuff yeah. and different things like that too. So the fact that I was able to just have all of these different synergies across the deck, I had two limiter removals, yeah. which was ridiculous. So I actually built like a blind second deck for like game one, uh -huh. hoping that like I would lose rock, paper, scissors and you would go first. And I would basically <laughs> do what I did to you in the first game, which was pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, and then in the second and third games, my plan was to actually smoke screen into like 10 or 12 traps. I had triple mirror force, what? double magic <laughs> cylinder, uh, it was just, like, ridiculous. So I would play more of, like, a control, like, cyber dragon machine mocking a deck, yeah. I guess. But, I, did, I mean, ha having access to stuff like the Citadel, like, Citadel is such a pain in the ass yeah. for you to deal with. Like, that card is just a monstrosity. And then I did have the Feather Dusters. Mm -hmm. You just never got to see Thankfully, them, sadly. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my staples were crazy, too. I had double Reborn. I had double Dark Hole in my wow. deck. Uh, I just, just, I had three Call of the Haunteds, which I main decked those. <laughs> The future fusion you didn't get to see either. I mean, like this this looked like it would be a competitive deck in like 2009 or 2010 or something. It was it was just unreal. Some, I can't believe that they they made that Cyber Dragon Cyber Strike deck or whatever, and there's no Xyz monsters at all. And that right? deck is like from this year. It's new. Yeah, it's and it's new. just fusions. It's like cyber dark stuff. I'm like, what is this? Why is there no, you know, infinity or the other one, whatever it is? Uh, yeah. Nova. Nova. Yeah. Wh yeah. Why is that yeah. not in there? And so I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like, I have no extra deck. This is going to be awful. <laughs> and That's always been like one of my criticisms of like newer structured decks is that there's no reason they shouldn't give you a 15 card extra deck. Right. Like I get the theory is that like you're supposed to buy three of them and then like depending on the deck then that technically gives you 15 cards in the extra
texture deck, yeah. but I don't know. Like it's 2021 <laughs> and like Nova and infinity are like five years old, six years yeah. old at this point. Like, I think it's okay to print these cards. Konami, <laughs> like it's not going to break the market or anything. Yeah. Like I, I was just looking at that deck. Like I thought this was going to be so much better. Like there was not even any good cyber dragon. <laughs> like there's one cyber dragon in the deck. There's like a couple of cyber dragons. Then it's like, mostly cyber darks and i was like am i gonna play cyber darks i was like i don't think so but right maybe i should have what was, this was terrible what was actually pretty astonishing was like the legendary decks is that there's so many duplicates of cards in those mm -hmm. And so, like, being able to... I had to go look at the Yugipedia just to make sure that, like, I knew I had many things. But, like, the double Overload Fusion were both in the Cyber yeah. Dragon Legendary Dragon Deck deck. And so, like, just things like that, I'm just so impressed that, like, those types of decks give you duplicates yeah. and just, like, the power cards, like, Infinity and stuff. I just don't get why they can't just isolate that and make that, like, its own product. You know what yeah, I mean? It's I just, know. I had a... Uh, strange. I had one Overload Fusion from the deck, but the problem is I had... I couldn't I didn't have a lot of machines and then if I did play all the cyber dragons most of them are trash like if you don't have yeah like mo like I have this guy who is fine but you have to actually have another like cyber dragon to target which I don't have a lot so like if, in this case it would right. be fine if there was one in the graveyard but there's this and then I had to play uh I'm regretting playing all these this one this <laughs> veer this guy's terrible this uh this hurts i guess uh right and like he could get one back but i have all kinds of ra oh, valley is pretty good so i mean he, he's pretty good so i played that one yeah. i mean i just had to play all these he random cards just so i'd have cyber dragon targets so i could even like do the fusions and this is like it's never gonna happen yeah the only ones i played i played dry just because dry can make itself a five yeah. to go into no which doesn't matter if you don't Sidra. have a rank five so exactly <laughs> right <laughs> and then i also played cyber phoenix too because like at, at bare yeah. minimum that just draws me another card but I, it just synergized with the rest of the deck so those were the only like cyber cards that i was yeah. playing but uh, I, the only other like really like I guess interesting thing I was playing like Dark Rebellion Exceed Dragon and like this yeah. thing as well these came in the other legendary decks because I have a few level fours and I figure okay like I could maybe overlay these and these can just get big yeah. so I figure yeah why not but I I thought my deck came together pretty we well so it was, it was that cool nine decks is better than five I guess we learned that uh, shocker <laughs> who would have guessed I don't, it maybe depends like if you would have gotten like the legendary dragon decks yeah. my deck would have been if I had gotten some newer decks, just significantly yeah. different my only yeah. new deck was the cyber dragon deck and they basically pretended it wasn't new so i don't i don't know what to do with that was i will say it was fun for once all of us having access to all the crazy staples, the staples in were this. insane that was exciting it was it nice was. it was nice yeah so guys, that's going to wrap up for another episode of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Auction Series. We have to shout the patrons as always. So big shouts to Shout1317, Moto, Cameron Smith, Chaotic Meatball, Tim Zero X3, Ian Musa, Iker, Iron Fang, Part 2, Pony Stark, Dan the Man, Hoban, Sigur Guy, Ole, Yusuf Last 5, Sylvia Wilds, Colt T, Draconic, Rockslide, Dollar Up, Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Thomas Nelson, Jordan Coons, Kelvin, Iron Bladesman, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, Turner, Guys, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Nair Celeste, David Liu, Chat God, Skyros, Dylan Hunter, John Tubase, Brody, Uso, Day Seer, Carlos CT, Final Daddy, Ashlyn Jensen, Give Me Speedword or Give Me Death. Guys, please read your cards. TC Gaming, thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Matthew brady uh large marge in a dodge charger that's a new one <laughs> max tom russell uh a ban snatch steal for progression 2021 i don't know if that's happening either chipotle <laughs> rice while yawn i think of mbt in the shower super dark edge and that's going to do it thank you so much for watching the video and we will see you next time